So here we have Bruker's S2 PicoFox TXRF spectrometer. This instrument is for trace elemental analysis, ranging from aluminum up to uranium. Very simple to prepare a sample. And today we've collected water samples from throughout the region here in uh, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Using a sterile tube, I'm removing the cap and reaching upstream. I'm filling the cap underwater and then I'm putting the cap back on underwater. Making sure that there's no air trapped in it so we have a good sample. So today we're going to prepare a sample for trace elemental analysis with the S2 PicoFox TXRF instrument. So first we've collected our water sample. Here we have one milliliter of water. And to analyze all of the trace elements that are in the sample, we are going to add an internal standard. The internal standard that we are going to use today is gallium. This is a single element internal standard at 1000 ppm. Here's our gallium internal standard. And we will pipette 10 microliters of the gallium directly into our water sample. We will then shake up our water sample and we will pipette five microliters of water directly onto the TXRF sample carrier. Today we are using acrylic sample carriers, which are throw away after each use. There are also options to use quartz or sapphire sample carriers. Now that we have our internal standard in our water sample, we will now pipette five microliters of water onto our sampling disk. Now that we've pipetted the water directly onto the center of that disc, we will take that disc and we will dry it using a hot plate. Once that disc or the water is perfectly dry onto that sample carrier, you will see a very thin film directly onto that carrier. And from there we can then load the instrument and start our analysis. Here we see a dried sample onto that disc. In, this, in essence, you, it's very difficult to see any sort of sample or residue as it's dried as a thin layer onto that disc. We will then take our sample changer. This is a 25 disc sample changer, going from one to 25 here. So we can automate the system to continuously run all of these samples. Here we're going to place the disc in sample position number one. We are going to load the instrument and start our data acquisition. Here we see the software interface from the Bruker S2 PicoFox. So since we're just running one sample, we loaded that into the first position and then started our analysis. Immediately you will start to see the different elements that are present in the sample begin to come up with individual peaks. We can then go through and tag these different peaks, um, which are representative of the particular element that is in that sample. We can also go over to identif auto identify, rather than clicking on each peak, which will populate those major elements in that sample and go through and fine tune it by choosing also elements that may be at very trace levels. For example, here we see bromine and strontium. The large peak in the middle is gallium. That is the internal standard that we added to the sample. And if you remember, we added that at 10 ppm. Once the analysis is complete, we can then do our evaluation to understand the results that are present in the sample. Here we see, as the sample is analyzing, our count rate. This is how many counts are coming to the detector. 
and we're roughly at about 7,000 counts with this particular sample. Here we can see that this sample is actually very clean, very low amount of various heavy metals that are present in this sample. Other than some of the majors, such as iron, nickel, copper. After this analysis, we can see how well the actual fit is in the sample. And here we have the spectral fit to show those different peaks and how well we're fitting. And now clicking over to the results section, we can see there the concentration in the middle for each one of our elements analyzed along with other information, such as the far right, which shows the lower limit of detection. Thank you for taking the time to have this little field trip with us in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We enjoyed showing you some of the capabilities of the S2 Picofax in the field and hope that you'll reach out to find out more.